Introduction to the Geologic Column Where can you find a 33-foot Dunkleosteus? A dragonfly the size of a crow? Dinosaurs? Saber-toothed tigers? Woolly mammoths? And a sloth the size of an elephant? In the Geologic Column What exactly is the Geologic Column? Where is it located? And why is it important? Let's find out. All around the world there are really interesting layers of rock. And when people use the words geologic column, they are referring to all these layers. There are more layers than you can see in any one place, but if you travel a little, you can see them all. The bottom layers are visible in the Grand Canyon in Arizona. The middle layers are visible in Zion National Park in Utah. The top layers are visible in Bryce Canyon National Park, which is also in Utah. Geologists have named all those rock layers and organized them in a chart like this. All these names may seem really hard to learn, but it's pretty easy if you break it into smaller chunks. The bottom section is called the Precambrian. On top of that is what we call the Phanerozoic. The Phanerozoic isn't just one layer, it's a special name for all the rest of the layers put together. The Phanerozoic is divided into three different parts or sections. On top of the Precambrian is the Paleozoic. On top of that is the Mesozoic. And on top of that is the Cenozoic. Those three parts are divided into smaller sections that you may want to learn someday. The Paleozoic has seven sections, the Mesozoic has three, and the Cenozoic has three. All the layers of rock around the world that geologists have described in this chart make up what we call the geologic column. The geologic column contains lots of interesting fossils. Starting at the bottom, let's see what kind of fossils there are. Can you remember what the bottom section is called? Is it Precambrian? Or Phanerozoic? If you said Precambrian, you're right. Phanerozoic is the name for all the other layers put together. The Precambrian has almost no fossils at all. But the Paleozoic has all kinds of fossils, including interesting fish and sea scorpions. One of the most exciting Paleozoic fossils is the Dunkleosteus, which could grow to be 33 feet long. The Mesozoic layers contain a variety of fossils, too, but the most well-known are the dinosaurs. Remember the saber-toothed tiger, the sloth the size of an elephant, and the woolly mammoth? They are all found in the Cenozoic. The rock layers themselves and the fossils found in them are fascinating to study. We'll be learning lots more about how they also provide important evidence for Noah's Flood.